Hi guys! In my last video, which was a get ready with me of this look, I did promise you'd be sick of me and I'm back already with another video. Uh, today I have my empties, which have had a bit of an upgrade when it comes to storage. I started storing them in an actual wooden box, um, just because I'm sick of seeing bags of rubbish around my house. It's bad enough the actual bags of rubbish that I have because I can't bother to throw them away without the things that I'm actually intentionally keeping. So this is kind of December to January. I've got quite a lot of stuff to get through, so I'm going to whiz through stuff because I will have mentioned things along the way, especially things that I've really enjoyed using. So I'm just going to kind of go through them, link them all below. If I've listed, if I've talked about them somewhere else, then I'll try to remember to list those as well or individual reviews. I'll start with this, uh, which I actually only used once as conditioner on my hair, not because it was a bad product. It's the Coco Loco conditioner from Lee Stafford. It smells absolutely amazing. It's like vanilla coconut, absolutely. It reminds me a little bit of um, those sweets. What are they called? Oh, I want to say fruit salad, maybe? No, the, 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 the chewy lollipops. I know you know what I'm talking about. It smells like those. Um, this was really, really nice, but I had so many conditioners and shampoos at the time, I ended up using this to shave my legs. I always use conditioner to shave my legs, FYI. It's amazing. Highly recommend it. Really, really scrub them first. Um, not because you have to, but this is just my, my tip. Really, really scrub them first, um, even if you use kind of like something with an oil to it that leaves a, a residue behind. If you use conditioner, it gets rid of all that, but it also softens the skin. It does something amazing. Conditioner to shave your legs is revolutionary, so that's what I used it for. It was nice, but it was pretty basic. Not amazing enough for me to think I really want to keep that to use it on my hair. Um, that's kind of how I use up any conditioner that I'm meh about. Uh, Sanctuary Cleansing Burst Body Wash. I love the Sanctuary, I love everything that it smells so good. Um, and this was just a body, it's not, you know, the body wash in itself is not absolutely the most amazing thing ever, but I love the smell of the Sanctuary, so I'll always repurchase something um, from their bath and body range. But it wasn't, you know, amazing, amazing. This from DGJ Organics. I had a few of these, I don't know where the other half of this one is. Uh, basically, it says top to toe conditioning, shampoo and body wash, and they do loads of them. And there's two of these connected together. And this one, what is this flavour? It might have said it on the other one. Oh, orange. It will have been, like, there were some that said, like, banana and custard. And they were two different scents together. This one's orange. I don't know what the other half of it was. But they, de they smelt different. And in theory, you could mix them together and it would smell like that thing or you could have them separately. This is so fun for the kids. Really nice smells. I would use them as kind of shower gels and stuff anyway. But the kids absolutely love these and they're still using some of them already. Um, but I'll link them below. They're such a really cool idea. I don't know if you can buy them in stores or just online, but I will link them so you can find them. But the kids really enjoyed those. Um, I have a few of these, which are kind of symbolic of the, the thing in itself. These are the Pro Fiber recharge they're basically little i want to say ampules but they're bigger than that aren't they basically vials of of treatment where you can squeeze these out and put them onto your hair you leave them for a few minutes um, rinse it out and you're recharging the treatment the pro fiber treatment which in theory you've had done at the salon i don't know if you can buy these separately or if this is something you have to get along with the salon treatment um but it's basically just silicone it's amazing if you've got the whole treatment in itself is amazing if you've got very dry or damaged feeling hair and you just need something doing to it so that it looks and feels more manageable and just shinier and generally less frizzy and damaged looking but it's not in my opinion going to do anything like lasting to your hair it does 100% make a difference to how it looks and feels um, so if, if like me you've had those moments where you're like oh my god I have to do something about my hair it's amazing uh, I think the entire treatment is £60, but then you go away with six weeks minimum worth of products. I could make them last a lot longer than that. Um, but just be aware that it's not its not a miracle. Uh, next, I have this Vita Coco or Vita Coco coconut oil. This, I'm unsure about. I've mentioned this in other videos. I love coconut oil for my hair. I'll put it all over my hair. For those of you that don't know, this is not my hair. I'm assuming it's obvious, but um, my hair goes up to about there. These are extensions because my hair has been horribly damaged and broken. Um, but I used to put this all over my hair and leave it overnight and doing that kind of once a week, once every two weeks, absolutely had an impact on the condition and how my hair felt. I feel like this is more likely to do something good for your hair, coconut oil, than something with silicones in it because it actually is moisturising your hair. But ultimately if your hair is going to snap off, if it's damaged to that point, it's going to snap off anyway. You're just preventing or prolonging the inevitable. What I'm not sure about is this particular product because I always felt like um, it it didn't 
Like with other coconut oils, I, my hair would still feel slick with oil the next morning. Whereas this one, my hair would feel dry, like dry. Um, and lots of people said that's because this one is actually being absorbed and the other ones aren't, which is probably true. But you know when you're used to something and then something behaves in a different way, you never really know how to feel about it. That's kind of how I feel, but I think that's probably true. It probably is better than the other ones that I've used. Um, I just don't know which one I would repurchase just because I have that weird thing in my mind that it should still feel oily in the morning. Um, next I have the Colour Freedom from Knight & Wilson. I've never noticed that before. Ultra Vibrant Non-Permanent Hair Colour. This is so good. I got it in the silver and this is not a toner. It works in a similar way to the toner but it is kind of a temporary hair colour. So if you've got hair that um, refuses to be toned, I'm talking to you blondes out there, that refuses to be toned, you've got that kind of brassy colour in your hair, especially the roots, wherever it might be, if you've done like an ombre, brassy areas of your hair that just will not respond to blue or purple shampoo. Try this, because this colours it, it's not toning it, it's putting something on it rather than trying to change it. So it does fade, um, but when I've had really, really brassy roots in the past and I can't tone them for the life of me, this has done something. Um, I've never ended up with silver hair. When I had like white hair, I could get it to be quite kind of silverish grey. But if you've just got normal blonde hair, you're only looking at kind of a, a toned down look. Um, but it was a lifesaver when I, I had hair that just wouldn't shift, it wouldn't change. Um, Aromatherapy Associates De-Stress Massage and Body Oil. Love the Aromatherapy Associates, very, very expensive. Um, but one way I would say to use this to get the absolute most for your money is to put it in the bath. The bath oils are really, really expensive, very, very effective. Um, the, there's a, a night, oh my goodness, my tummy just rumbled so loud, I don't even know if you could be able to hear that, it's insane. It's like quarter past eleven, I haven't eaten anything yet and my stomach's going, I'm so hungry. I can't believe how loud that was. So anyway, um, very, very nice massage oil, but let's face it, for a massage oil, this is mega, mega expensive. Uh, whereas it's slightly cheaper than the bath oil, I believe, or a similar price, and you get more. Um, again, I think, I may be just making this up, but I feel like you get more for your money with this. It's probably slightly diluted, but if you put this in the bath, it works just as well as the bath oil, and you'll get more for your money, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's just kind of a better multi-use product than the bath oil. If you were wanting to try Aromatherapy Associates, but didn't want to um, spend such a lot of money on a tiny little bottle of oil for your bath. Uh, next, the Soap & Glory Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. <laughs> Breakfast scrub. This is so nice. I hadn't tried this until six months ago. Um, it smells amazing. It smells just like maple syrup. It's the smell. It's 50% the smell at very least that I'm like, I'm gonna smell it now. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm actually gonna go out and buy a mini of this to take on holiday with me because I, oh, I'd forgotten how good that smell was. So nice. The actual scrub itself is brilliant. Very, very thick and it stays thick throughout. You know when you get a sugar scrub that's in oil and um, at the beginning you're getting a lot of oil and in the end it's just sugar and it's barely bound together with anything. This is very consistent throughout. It's kind of like a paste um, and very, very gritty and scrubby. If you're not into kind of real harsh scrubs, you probably won't like this, but this is really gonna kind of get a layer of skin off. <laughs> you're gonna get really smooth skin after using this. I loved it. Very, very little amount of residue, which is good for me because um, I like to shave my legs after scrubbing them. But, oh, I would 100% repurchase that. And I'd actually, this is in kind of the bottom of the box. I kind of forgot about it. Um, some simple face wipes. I've used these consistently. Since I was working with them last year, they sent me tons of face wipes. And I do really like them. They're not, they don't kind of dry out my skin or um, sting my eyes or anything like that. This is uh, a Glam Glow Bright Mud. It's a bright mud what is it called? Eye mask thing. Really, really weird. Um, I'm not sure whether it does anything. I feel like it does. I'm, I, I flip between the two. I flip between, oh my god, this is amazing, and no, it doesn't do anything at all. I think it does. My fine lines definitely appear to be um, diminished and plumped, but what I'm saying is I don't know if it does anything real or if it's cosmetic. I don't know if there's something, if it, if it just makes them look good and then the next day they look exactly the same. I don't know. Uh, but if you find them on sale, I think they got them for £14 for a big box of them in TK Maxx. You can make one of the the eye sachets last for like four eyes. If you have four eyes, no. You can peel it half across and use one to split it in half to get you most for your money. Uh, but I wouldn't pay full price for them, as I've spoken about before. 
Um, next I have a Lush, what was this one? Snow Angel Bath Melt. I don't know, I talk about Lush quite frequently as like, I like it, but they all kind of do the same thing. I like the bath melts and I like the bath bombs that have got shea butter in them and the things that leave a bit of oil. So I will have liked this. It smells okay. But I, I mainly buy them, oh, I bought them a lot over Christmas. Excuse me, I'm feeling really like, oh, no. Uh, I bought a lot over Christmas for my Vlogmas videos because I thought it would be fun. <sighs> I spent so much money in Lush just to have a bath bomb play at the end of my Vlogmas. I, in hindsight, what was I thinking? That was insane. Um, but the kids absolutely love them. So I still buy bath bombs for the kids. If I was going to buy something for me, it would be one of the oils, the bath melts, or um, one of the ones that's got shea butter in it. Which is the one that I like? Butter, butter ball? Butter ball, I think. So they are my favourites. I feel like they do something and they're a bit more, um, they're not kind of full of glitter and colour. I feel like I actually want to get in the bath afterwards. <laughs> Nail polish remover from Superdrug. This is um, an acetone formula and I ho hoped that this would be like super duper. I've since discovered that it's not all that at all. I'm using one at the moment, which I'll talk about in another video um, that I absolutely love. And even with glitter nail polish, it works really, really well. This. I, I almost hated painting my nails because I knew it was going to take such a, a, a long time to remove the nail polish, um, even normal nail polish. Because I use Sesh Feet Top Coat, not at the moment, but I use it to um, get the most long-lasting and gel-looking nails, and this would take forever just to remove the top coat. Like, I was doing it forever and ever, and no colour was coming off on the pad. Really annoying. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and lastly, the Joyco K-Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructive and Damaged Hair. Took me a while to use this up because it smells like bananas and I hate bananas. Uh, this is a treatment for your hair. It's supposed to use between your shampoo and conditioner that people rave about on YouTube, but I really just, I didn't think it did anything for me, so I wouldn't recommend it. And that is that, and my camera is blinking, telling me I've got, I'm out of time, the music's playing. Um, it is awards season, I'm watching a lot of that stuff right now. Uh, but that is it for today's video. Our next few videos will probably be travel related, because it's a week before we go away. I'm so excited, and hoping that the snow holds out enough for us to actually get to New York. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.